In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to properly set up a lead generation campaign on TikTok. This is a campaign that we've recently set up for a real estate agent that has generated 36 solid real estate leads at about $7.14 per lead. I'm also gonna be showing you what the backend automation looks like to follow up with these leads. Now, in order to set up an ad on TikTok, you need to create a TikTok business manager. You can do that by going to tiktok.com forward slash business manager and actually creating up a business manager account with an ad account. Uh, I linked in the description of this video a resource that will take you to the uh, TikTok page that walks you step by step on how to create a business manager account on TikTok. Now this is the exact video that we're running and I wanted to show you what this looks like because you can basically replicate this exact same video and it doesn't have to be a lease property. It could be a property that you are uh, listing for sale or it could be attracting buyers to an additional property that you may have. Go into your TikTok ads manager. This is kind of where we're at right now. And now let's go ahead and set this up. Very first thing that you wanna do is click on this create button and it's going to give you a couple of options in here that you can choose from. The option that you want to choose is gonna be the custom mode because it's going to provide uh, the most options for us, okay? So click on custom mode. Once you do that, you're gonna be shown advertiser objectives. This is the action that you want people to take on your ad, where you want that conversion to happen. For our setup, you're gonna be choosing lead generation. Once you do that, you'll be shown a few more settings. Uh, and what you wanna do is give this campaign a name that actually makes sense to you. Now, if you're running real estate ads, political ads, um, or job-related credit ads, similar to what Facebook has to offer, you're going to have to declare a special ads category. So a special ads category is for anybody who's running real estate ads. Um, in our situation, I'm gonna click housing and I'm going to declare special ads category. Now, what's gonna happen in special ads category is that you are gonna be limited with, a, with, with targeting. That's not a big deal though, however, because TikTok's algorithm is pretty smart and it can literally place your ad in front of the right people. We're still gonna be able to address some targeting and do a bunch of other stuff in here that is going to bring us a decent return for our uh, investment. Once you choose that, uh, I'm not going to worry about split testing. I'm not going to worry about campaign budget optimization, and I'm definitely going to set the uh, not worry about setting the uh, the ad set budget here. We're going to do that at the ad set level. And now we're setting up the ad group. This is where we're going to set up our targeting, where we're going to set up a few uh, other pieces of information about our ad. So very first thing, again, you want to give this a name that makes sense to you uh, right here. And we're going to choose optimization location. This is select where you like to drive more leads to, okay? In our case, we're gonna choose an instant form because we're gonna be generating leads and we're not gonna drive them to a website. Under placements, I always like to leave on uh, TikTok, uh, include searches uh, when people are searching for certain categories or certain types of, of businesses, I like to leave that on. I leave user comments on. I usually turn off videos to download because I don't want anybody downloading those videos. Uh, and video sharing is always left on. Next thing we're gonna be setting up is gonna be demographic information, okay? Uh, this is uh, somewhat broad, and basically what I like to do with these type of ads is I like to create them in the city that the property is located in. So if you're running this in the city of, uh, let's say Sugarland, I'm gonna just type in Sugarland in here, and I'm gonna browse, and I'm gonna find the city. Okay, and that's basically going to give me uh, 49 to 61,000 people I can reach. Now, I can expand this. I can also include counties if the counties are available. I know that with real estate ads, uh, they're not gonna be available by zip code, but in a lot of cases, you can include zip code for other types of ads, okay? So just pick the cities. I recommend the cities that are surrounding that property um, if it's a small city, obviously add a few cities or counties. Uh, if it's a larger city, one would be enough. Like if I'm promoting this in Houston, I would just you know basically kind of remove all those and just leave the Houston DMA. But when we come down to interest and behaviors, this is where we can add a few of those things. So I can type in real estate in here and there's gonna be a lot of purchase intent and there's gonna be interest. So purchase intent meaning that somehow these people have shown an interest or an intent in maybe purchasing a home, maybe a rental, uh, maybe, um, you know, 
some sort of real estate purchase intent. Um, this one is an interest. That means that they have shown interest on the platform for something related to real estate. I like to typically add a few of these in here. I like to add a real estate. I like to go down here and do interest in sales. I like to do purchase intent data, real estate purchase. And then I just like to go down this, down this route as well. Um, see if there's any other uh, interest that match uh, this this uh, this interest. So I just basically poke around in here and type in you know uh, anything else that I might want to include that can help me narrow down my my audience pool basically. Now it's important to note that with uh, the special ads category, you are not going to be able to select your age range. So basically, you cannot uh, choose anybody who's above 45 or 35 or anything like that. You're basically going to have to leave it broad from 18 all the way up to the to the 65 plus age range. However, the algorithm and the video is gonna do most of your targeting and most of your heavy lifting. So the video is important. If you wanna call somebody out in a specific area of town, please do so because that's gonna show your ad in that area of town as opposed to on the opposite end. Now we come down here to daily budget. And again, your budget is your budget. I'm not gonna discuss budget in here, but typically you can start with, I don't think anything less than 20 bucks uh, on TikTok. In some industries, you have to start at 30 bucks. Um, but I don't think you can even go 15. I think, um, yeah, $20 is the, is the minimum that you can go. So you're gonna have to spend at least 20 bucks a day on this. Obviously, the more you spend, the more you people you reach, the faster you get the results that you're looking for. Schedule to run. I set it to start immediately and continue and continuously run these ads because if an ad starts to work, I want to make sure that I want to keep that ad running and not have to have the momentum be killed by a limited amount of time that I've set for this promotion. Bidding and optimization, I leave this at maximum delivery uh, and I don't mess with anything else outside of this. So once this is set, all you need to do is click next and it is going to take us to the ad section where we're going to be dealing with our creative and our copy. Again, very first thing that we're going to do is we are going to name this something that actually makes sense to you. Um, my recommendation for ad names here, if you're running a bunch of ads and a bunch of campaigns is name this with a little bit of a descriptor of what the video is. So if this is a property that is located at 123 you know, USA Main Street, I would label this 123 USA Main Street so that I know exactly which property I'm going to promote um, in these ads. For the identity section here, we are gonna be running something called Spark Ads, okay? What is a Spark Ad? A Spark Ad basically is an organic post that you have on your TikTok page. We grab a dedicated advertiser link from that post and we can put it in here. And what that's gonna do is it's going to use the power of all the organic traction that you've already got on that post and amplify it with ads. So I like to use these Spark posts because they look natural, they look native. People can not only find them on your regular TikTok page, but they're not hitting like, a, like an ad is on TikTok. Um, and so I really like to do that. In order to generate a Spark code, you have to actually go on TikTok on your page and create a Spark code for that specific video. So what we're gonna be setting up is a Spark ad. This is going to allow us to use an already existing organic post that's done well, or that's got some organic traction in combination with our uh, paid advertising. So that number one, we can add fuel to that post. And number two, it appears native and organic to the platform, um, allowing amplification of uh, the ad and the reach and all that good stuff. So once you turn on, um, once you turn on this feature that says TikTok account for delivery or Spark, it's going to show you which accounts you are linked to. If you're trying to use a post from a different account, click here and authorize that. But for now, I'm going to pick this one here and it's basically going to um, take me to my account where I can choose. I can choose which ad I want to run from here. From here, I'm going to go down and I'm going to click on TikTok post. And it's basically going to go to my TikTok account and I'm gonna be able to find any post that I want to link. So let's say I want this one here, I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna click continue and bring that into the ads manager and that's what that post is gonna look like right there. 
okay now from here I can choose music music sharing allow you to share another videos I typically don't mess with any of that stuff um, uh, stitch and duet I typically leave that off because these are ads and I don't want anybody doing any of that stuff um, the other thing that I do is the customization of the call to action button from here it says dynamic call to action I've seen some people um, leave this alone okay and not mess with it and it kind of looks really weird what you want to do is click edit on this because not every dynamic call to action is gonna match so for example some of you say view now check it out reach out today buy contact us with questions make an appointment or call us or play a game some of these are not applicable to us so what I typically like to do is either learn more or I like to say reach out today or check it out um, or contact us with more questions but typically learn more is going to be the one that we are going to want to select okay you can also click on standard dynamic means that it's going to rotate between those calls to action to see which one's going to be the best uh, standard means that it is basically going to leave that one alone and that's where it's going to be so you can always just choose standard and click learn more and your post is going to look exactly like this that now we've got uh, all this organic reach in here in addition to what our ads are going to do. So from here what we're going to do is click on create an instant form and this is going to be very similar to what we do on Facebook um, because these platforms are, are, are very very similar. Uh, we have the option of creating an advanced form that basically is sort of like a little mini web web page that has uh, more more graphics, more details, you know, more um, sort of uh, things in here more like a graphical interface to allow people to be convinced to fill out this info or we're going to click on the standard classic form for this specific instance i just want to go with the standard classic form and basically we're going to be creating our form so people can become lead so from here all we're going to do our language is english we're going to name this something that actually makes sense i'm going to leave it at more volume and then i'm going to go to the intro here so i want to make sure that i have my logo or my picture up up in this area where it says logo and I want to choose a display name I want to choose a headline in here uh, and I want to ask certain questions some of the questions might be uh, name email phone number you may even ask an additional question as like how what is you know uh, how soon are you looking to move or are you working with a real estate agent already and those kind of things okay after you do that we're gonna go to private policy this cannot run without a private policy page so go out to your website copy your website's private policy link paste it in here and then type in privacy in in this section where it says privacy policy link uh, once you do all this you're gonna get to the thank you page now the thank you page is another opportunity for you to tell people what it is that they are going to get after this so typically we'll say you know thanks or you're almost there we've sent the information to you or we're going to be reaching out or you're going to be receiving a text or whatever it is that they're going to uh, experience after they click and give you all these, these details all right to give you a little bit of a reference this is what this form looks like first name email uh, phone number uh, privacy policy we have a question in there that says are you currently working with an agent um, thank you uh, almost done click the button below to see the listing details uh, and then they close this and they can confirm this section here now once that form is built and complete there's only one more thing left to do here and that is click on the submit button and just like what happens with Facebook this is going to go up for review on um, on TikTok, and once they approve it making sure that you're compliant with the advertiser policies you're not making any big bold claims etc they're going to approve it and your ads gonna start to run now the next thing that I'm gonna show you is how to follow up with these leads what do we do with these leads that come in where are they how do we get how do we reach them and how do we convert those into um, you know working leads for us we are using a tool called high level in order to connect to a TikTok page and what it what this does is once we connect to a TikTok page here we are able to go and we are able to integrate or basically tie in this tool with all of our TikTok advertising the leads will automatically come in and flow into our advertising tool and I'm going to show you what the automated process looks like so leads come in through TikTok, and as soon as they come in, we are letting the system know if the leads come in from TikTok, go ahead and automatically add them to a pipeline. And then we send a notification to the agent with the lead details for the agent to go ahead and instantly call these people and follow up with them. 
at the same time, we are following up with these leads automatically. So when a lead comes in, our system will automatically add these people to a pipeline. It will text the agent or the team, whoever is responsible for handling these, and it sends a text message to that lead. And basically, it says something like, thank you for reaching out to us via TikTok uh, for your interest in ABCDE property. You know, do you have any questions on this? We send you the link via email for you to view the images and the pictures and all that information that you want. Um, we also send them a thank you email with the details that we promised them. That's gonna have the list of the MLS link to it along with any other details. When the agent, res when the customer responds back because we are asking the leads to respond back to see if they have any questions or to make sure that we have the right phone number, they go down this follow-up process. If they're working with an agent already, then we don't really want to mess with them. We just want to provide that information to them and we want to make sure that they follow up with their agent. If they're not working with a real estate agent, um, then we want to follow up, continue with them to see if maybe we can um, set up an additional conversation with them to see if they're interested in any sort of property, if we can set them up on a search, etc. So all these leads are being followed up with instantly, not only via email, but also via text. And the agents are being notified via text so that they can physically call these people or text them manually and enter into a conversation closing more of these deals. So this is the exact same process that we that we use to set things up. Hopefully this provides a little bit more more of an understanding on how to connect this. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and we'll see you guys on the next one.